Assalamu alaikum. I am grateful to be included in this noble anthology as well as to take part in the online book launch. So I will be reading two poems from here. One, what I'll begin with, describes a kind of mystical experience in the desert in Egypt, where I'm from. It's called Desert Revisited. Under a whirling skirt of sky, streaming light and stars, groping for that tremendous hem, gingerly over quicksand, as though steadied beneath some tongue and dissolving, not the absence of sound, but the presence of silence, or as if transfixed by a gaze, stern, serene, surveying a dream, foreign, familiar. Incorruptible starting point, inviolable horizon, where I and mind are free to meditate upon perfection. There, begin to uncover, buried in dust and disinterest, the immutable letter, first of the Arabic alphabet, Alif. Under the ever-watchful eye, fearsome sun, forgiving moon, bless the magnificent hand. All else is blasphemy, a lie. Experience gratitude, the maturity of ecstasy, longing to utter the unutterable name. Only striving, supreme or pure, can ever hope to endure the absolute face, the awesome embrace. And my second poem, I'm not sure how to describe it other than to say this is a step along the spiritual path when a, when a necessary exchange or action must be taken. It's called Embracing We Let Go. Perhaps we're negotiating not just with one, but always two, who share the same soil, it is true. One who lives, another who expires. A shift in balance begins to take place once a love of silence is confessed. Its roots run deep, its shade a world, and her fruits impossible to forget. From the first, we surrender something and gradually consent to be emptied, transfixed by so much soundless music, drunk and sated through lipless mouths. What use to name this silent master, preparing us for dying or the divine? I'm not sure there's a difference, but do know in embracing, we let go. Thank you very much.